so we've been lucky enough then to be part of uh, making a lot of these breakthroughs, uh, fundamental breakthroughs in AI that uh, uh, used games as, as the perfect kind of proving ground uh, to develop these ideas very quickly and very efficiently. Um, but of course, games uh, were never the uh, uh, end in themselves. They were just a means to an end. Um, very fun things to work on, um, but the idea was to use them to create very general uh, algorithms and general systems that could then be uh, uh, translated uh, to uh, work on real world challenges and real world problems. So that's what we switched to in the last few years. We still use games as a, as a training ground for our latest uh, tests and things, but much more in the last sort of three, four years, um, we've been using real world domains a lot more. And what's very exciting now is that we're finally on the cusp, I think, of uh, using AI for scientific discovery. It was always um, uh, one of the original uh, motivations for, for starting DeepMind, and it's my personal passion of uh, what um, I think we can one of the things we can most usefully use AI for.